Thank you for showing interest in the Alteryx certification program. On test day, there are a few different things that you can expect. In this video, we'll cover what to expect when you first register, all the way through the distribution of certification. First, you're probably looking to register for the exam. Choose the desired exam you'd like to take and select register. Once selected, a new page will open and you can fill out the registration form and click submit. Once submitted, the month following your submission, you will be emailed a link around your certification. So if I registered on October 1st, I can expect my new link to be sent to me on November 1st. Here's an example of what you'll be emailed. Here there'll be instructions around creating a community account to begin the exam, and then a link to the exam itself. Let's go ahead and open a preview exam and see what kind of questions we can expect. So once clicked on that link inside the email, you'll be directed to this page in which you can enter your email address and your community handle. It is critical that you get the community handle correct because we will be giving badges based on the certification. Once you're ready to take the exam, you can click Start. Now for our exams, we allow three attempts. So over the course of October, I'll have three different attempts. And once you select the Start button, your attempt will begin. The following page will show meta info around the exam. In this case, we just have a simple preview around the Designer Core exam. The Designer Core exam in its full will have 80 questions across two hours. And you must complete it in one sitting there is no ability to save your progress and come back later. There will be one question displayed per page, and if you'd like to go back and change your answers later in the exam, you'll be able to do so. In this exam, our pass mark is 80%. 80% of the allotted points that are distributed. This is important because different questions can be worth a variable amount of points. Some can be one point, whereas others can be three points. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the questions. The first question is applied use case. The first thing that I'm going to show is at the top of the exam, you'll have a countdown on how much time you have left remaining, as well as a progress bar. Here you'll have a count of what question you are on out of how many. And then finally, how many points each question is worth. Questions can be worth as little as one point and as many as three for the Alteryx Core Designer exam. This question is the first of a few different formatted questions that you can come across inside your exam. In this case, we show a before and after for a particular data set, and we must be able to select how to get to that particular end result. Below, I'll be asked which workflows were used to generate the desired output. In this case, you can see noted by the square boxes that more than one can be selected. This is important because you must select all situations in which this result could be created. Do note that if you only get a couple of them right, partial credit is awarded. Once completed with the question, you can select Next. The next question will come up. The second type of question that you can come across is a configuration-based question. In this case, we'll show a data set that was used by the unique tool and the configuration. And below, you have to select what the output is going to be after you apply that configuration to the data set. You can see that only one choice is allowed based on the circular radio buttons, and we'll select Next. Now, if I got to a point where I needed to go back because I remembered something special about the previous question, I could always click on Previous and return to that question. And if I want to reset my question, I can just select Clear Selection. We'll return to our third question. Here we have a matching type of operation. In this case, we're going to match the delimiter to the description of the text-to-tools column. Simply go to the drop-downs, select how they apply, and submit. The final format that you can come across is a question on which tool was applied to create this result. In this example, you can see that there's two pictures showing a before and after of a tool and the overall structure of the data. The question mark icon here is asking which tool was used to generate that output. We'll scroll down and look for which tool that is, select it, 
and select Finish Now. After selecting Finish Now, you'll be prompted to Confirm, and you'll be complete. After the final confirmation, you'll be redirected to a results page where you can view the title, the percent of what you scored, and the duration, the date you started it, and the date you finished. The feedback will tell you whether you passed or failed the exam. If this is your first attempt, there will be two more attempts left. If you have completed all three attempts and failed to pass the exam at this point, please register for the following month. Following the exam, we do not share the results of how you answer questions, what you answered correctly, and what you answered incorrectly, due to the fact that we had a number of attempts. If you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to us at certification at alterix.com. If you pass this exam, you'll be awarded two separate things. One, you will be emailed the certificate proving your certification within this exam. And secondly, you'll be awarded a badge on Community. Underneath my profile, you can see that I have this Certified Designer Core badge. It is imperative that you enter the correct Community handle in to get the badge for your certification exam. Happy testing and good luck!